Hello everybody, this is TGA and we are currently now heading down to a site known as Eastman Chemicals in Newport. Now this place it was recommended for me to do an audit of by a subscriber and we'll put their channel up on screen right now. I'm not just going to say it this time, I'm actually going to do it. So if I don't do it, you can call me all the names under the sun. But yeah, um, it's quite a clear nice day today, so what it'd be worth doing, getting a bit of the drone action. Um, well the wind started picking up slightly now, but um, you know, it's still pretty still. Uh, See, so it could be worth a bit of drone footage. And this site is, I've looked, I've looked, if you look on Google Maps or Google Earth, you can see how extensive this site is, Eastman. And the uh, subscriber said he, he does like um, emergency sirens and stuff like that. I had a quick look at your channel. Uh, we'll leave a link. Um, and apparently the security got a bit ratty with him at this site. For, for, for well, just filming the sirens, you know, seems to be a bit of activity going on at um, Eastman today, Solutia. And I'm for uh, yeah, I think I would have got to grips with this camera. I uh, I've managed to enable stabilization on it, so hopefully, the footage looks nice and uh, smooth for you guys. This is the usual camera, so. Yeah, should be a good one. Like I like to do like local stuff because it's just I'm based in Gwent. I like to do stuff in Gwent because Gwent. I will. I, I've had someone recommend someone, you know, someone who knows I do auditing, but it's not a subscribe. You know, not just one of one of my friends outside of uh, outside of the auditing communities recommended that I do Burton's biscuits. <laughs> In Cambrian, so that will be. I'll, I might, I might do that today. I don't know. But yeah, we come down today to do Eastman Chemicals. I want to get the drone up. But obviously, you've got these electricity pylons, which I like to be careful when flying the drone near electricity pylons. But yeah, this is Eastman Chemicals. Quite a busy site, to say the least. Uh, it's all publicly accessible, but yeah. Does it say private? No, it does not. So we're gonna wander down. It's a little dragon over there. So it's Eastman Chemicals, guys, in Newport. Quite a, quite a track to get down, to be fair. Have a wander around. I think we can cross over. It's a security hut over there. Gonna quickly just check there's no traffic coming. There it is, Eastman. Look at it, guys. It's massive. Wow. Size of that. Might get definitely want to get the drone up though, guys. Um so this all again, it's a publicly accessible area. and um, not crossing any barriers or anything. This is the security, so obviously the security notice, entry to this site is consent to a baggage or vehicle inspections by security for contraband items including, but not limited to the following items, drugs, alcohol, weapons, firearms, explosives, slash unauthorized hazardous material. Inspections may be done upon entering or leaving the site. Detection of contraband or refusal to a search may result in denial of access to the site. You may not remove any company property from this site unless you have express authority to do so. So yeah, this is the security hut at Solutia. So, somebody's got a bike in there. They've got their smoking area but here as well. Uh, we're going to have a look, see what's going on on site. We're not crossing any barriers. We're just having a look. Got Eastman van there, look. Let's have a look. Let's see what they got. Hello. No, can I help you at all, mate? Can I help you at all, mate? 
Can I help you? Can you stand back, please? Yeah, you? You're not getting my face. I'm just taking some videos, please. You can make your way up for something, please. Yeah, it's pu uh, public, publicly accessible, this area. No, can you not get so close to me, please? No, you're not getting. In, you're not getting in my face. I'm not having you standing so close to me because I know what you're trying to do. You're trying to intimidate me. I'm not having it. Off the side, well, as long as you don't, if you step back, I will. Because I know what, because I'm, I'm in a publicly accessible area, mate. I'm not having, I'm going to get my drone up as well. Yeah. Yeah, I can. Uh, no, I didn't. No. No, I didn't. Not over this side, no. But I'm going to get my drone up anyway, because you, you don't control the airspace, so I'm going to get it up. I'm going to stand over here. I'm not having anyone trying to, trying to be intimidating to me. I've had that, I'm not dealing with it. Publicly accessible. Publicly accessible area, just saying. Oh, I forgot, I could just show you something which is called Section 33 of the Criminal Justice Act 1972. It says anywhere that's publicly accessible is defined as a public place. This is all publicly accessible here. It doesn't say that I can't, the barriers are there, just to say. And this is all publicly accessible. Yeah, but it's publicly accessible. Oh, don't, don't go down those lines, you're just wasting police time, that's what you're doing. You know, do you think Gwen, Gwen police have got better things to do? Gwen police got better things to do than you wasting their time. That's what I'm saying. So I don't know why I don't know why it's an issue to be honest. I'm not passing any gate lines, I'm not climbing any fences or anything. Like a gentleman said, if you want to stand on the road and do it, that's not a problem. Okay, but like, where's your boundary line if you're not if you can't? Yeah, the public road starts there. Well, where's that then? Because this is publicly accessible, this is a footpath, isn't it? Yeah, but this is a public foot this is a footpath, isn't it? That's the thing. Where's it say that? Where's it? But where's the sign saying this? But where's the sign saying this is private property? Where's the sign? Because if you walk in there, you can just walk straight in. There's no, you don't, you don't approach a sign on the way in saying private property, do you? Keep out. There's no sign saying like trespassers will be prosecuted or anything like that. It's just all, it's all accessible to the public. No, it's accessible to the public under Section 33 of the Criminal Justice Act 1972 to find a publicly accessible place. Well, if you can, if you can point to me where there's any signs to say that I can't be where I am now, where's it? So where does it say I can't be here then? Where does it say that? What what sign? I'm just filming. It's for my own interest. Matters of public interest. Public interest on the Well, how how is this? Where does it say this isn't public though? Where does it say this isn't public? Well, but I, I've, I've, read, I've read up on the laws. I know what, what's publicly accessible. I know, I know that also the laws on trespass. What, when it comes under aggravated trespass. Well, if they're, if they're passing them gates, yes, they are. Well, if, if you're passing them gates, them gates that's on site there, isn't it? Okay. Well, there's no need to go calling the police or anything, is there? Because. I'm not causing any any harm. I'm on a footpath, aren't I? Am I on a risk? Am I on? Is this where I'm stood now a risk? This is a public this is a footpath where I'm stood. What risk am I posing by standing on a footpath? You're not explaining to me. I'm asking. I'm asking you a question. I'm. I'm just expecting you to answer it civilly. I'm stood on a footpath. What harm am I doing? I don't understand what the issue is. To be honest, if you'd explain to me, sir, I'm speaking to you. Can I ask, what risk am I posing by standing on this footpath? What risk am I posing to myself or anyone else by standing on this footpath? To you're not, you're not answering my question. You're not, ans you're not answering my question. What risk am I posing to myself or anyone else by standing on this footpath? That's a simple question. I'm expecting a simple answer. That's all I'm asking. Oh, by the way, you're security, aren't you? So where's your where's, where's your SIA badges? You're supposed to have on display at all times. Where is it? There it is. Okay, perfect. Thank you. All right.
Well, if you'd answer my question, I'd be happy to stand over there. If you, if you ask, tell me, sir, can I ask you, what risk am I posing by standing on this, this publicly accessible footpath for you? Yeah, but what risk am I posing to myself or anyone else? What risk am I posing by standing here? And what, what signs state that I'm not supposed to be here? Is there any signs or any barriers to stop me from standing where I am now? Yeah, but there's no signs or any barriers to state that, is there? No, there's not. It's a publicly accessible area. It's a publicly accessible area, sir. I'm trying to be civil with you. I'm just asking you a simple question. So... Right. Right, so we're gonna have a look at the dragon. I don't give a, sh I don't give a shit. That bloke's got no authority to keep you stood there. So let's have a quick look at this uh, this little dragon they got over here. So let's have a little look at this dragon. That's cool. Though. Look at that. That's what I want to have a look at. So as you can see, they got a little dragon here. That's awesome. Look at that. So as you can see, um, this is their office building, their ad admin block over there. Then you've got the main site on that side over there. So what we're going to do guys, we're going to stand over here and we're going to get the drone up. Put the camera on, make sure he doesn't do nothing. Um, right. I'm going to just prop it up just so you can see him. Just so you can see the gentleman. Yeah, I'm zooming. There he is. So we're close, we're further, far enough away from the pylons, so they're not causing any issues. Um, we're standing over here. We're nowhere near the bar. We're no, we're nowhere near the boundary line now, so I don't see what what the gentleman's issue is. Member of the public, gentleman, a security man trying to intimidate me again. As we saw. It's registered, just saying. Nothing says it's illegal to fly a drone over private property. You don't own the airspace. There we go, guys. Get the drone up. I'm gonna get the camera on the drone. Am I on the property? Yes, you're on the property. As I said, 
as I said, what risk am I posing stood on this footpath and where do the signs, what signs do state that I'm not supposed to be here? Look, if you could show me some, if you could show me something, I'm just asking you civilly, if you could show me something that says I'm not supposed to be, well, I'm supposed, not supposed to be where I stood where I'm stood, then... Muppet. It's a cool looking thing there. Ah, oh, he's got some flowers. Those for me. <laughs> Oh, too kind. <laughs> there we are, he's still... So they phoned the police. Again, security goons causing trouble. That's a cool looking thing, isn't it? I've got some awesome drone footage, guys. It'll be at the end of the video. So, uh... A, oh, he's got some stuff there as well. Anything good? <laughs> he's got his hard hat. So yeah, that guy's gone with the flowers. <laughs> oh. See, apparently they've called the police. Um, let's have a look what these signs say, because for some reason they seem to be under the impression Warning. Designated crossing point, that's all it says. So, nowhere does it say I'm not allowed to be where I was. So I'm not sure what, what they were referring to. I um, don't know what gives them any grounds to tell me not to be there. There is a sign over there, I'm going to have a little read of that. Well, I'm trying to find out what, what grounds they've got to not ask me not to be on the site, to be honest. Um, so it says all drivers, please report to security. Well, I'm not driving in, am I? I've walked, yeah? Ah, there we go. Attention. High visibility garments must be worn before crossing the first forecourt to the security gatehouse. Okay. Well, if they just informed me about that sign, I would have, I would have come down with my high vis, you know. But no, they didn't. They, they, they weren't going to, were they? They were saying crossing the forecourt. So obviously, because I'm not wearing high visibility clothing, I'm going to go stand over. Ooh, I'm going to go stand over by the road. Um, you could have just drawn my attention to that sign, sir. This could have been avoided. That's what I'm saying. So yeah. Obviously, there they are over there. Um, I've had the drone up guys, got some really good shots. This could have been avoided if you'd just drawn my attention to that sign over there. Instead you had to become hostile. So we're going to stand by here on the, on the public footpath. Because obviously you need high visibility clothing crossing the forecourt. That's what it said. So we're going to pause this recording momentarily. We'll be back with you shortly. Um, when, well, they've called the police, so we're going to have to wait, you know. That's the trouble. Which I don't know why. They had no grounds to call the police. They had no grounds that whatsoever to call the police. And yet they've they've done gone and done it. They've gone and wasted police time. Um, and I would I would like to see police standing up for a member of the public for once, rather than standing up for a corporate entity, which uh, Eastman's an American company. Busy site. Like a rainbow look on it. I like that. Careful. Should he be parked there? 
Well, it's, it's if they're claiming it's their property. Busy site. Big chemical tanker there. Another one. Want. Police have turned up on blues and twos for some reason. Why is he turned up on blue to blues and twos? Why is he turned up on blues and twos? Another police car fucking on blues and twos. What's going on? What are they on blues and twos for? Look at them all. What's going on? Hello. You alright there? You alright there, officer? Yeah, not too bad. Yourself. Do you think you could just identify yourself before you speak? Please. Thank you very much. What are you doing here today? Just making a little video. Okay, what's it regarding? Just matters of public interest, my friend. Okay. Basically, as you can imagine, there's a lot of health and safety guidelines that you can't follow with the mm -hmm. that we're dealing with. Okay. okay. So I think that's why I made the first student class. Why have you turned up on blue lights for? It's been read as an emergency call. Emergency? Yeah. For filming? Yeah, um, potentially. Um, from your behaviour and the way you're acting with Oh no, no, they, they were actually they were a bit aggressive for me, that's all. Obviously, we're here to try and figure out what's going on. Mm -hmm. So clearly, obviously, you're recording you know, sites such as... Yeah, yeah. Um, do, do you just think you could identify yourselves for me? Yeah, 775, John Forsey, Main Police Station. Thank you. 358, Dan Miles, Main Main Okay, thank you. Okay, um, what are your intentions at the moment? I am just might publish it online. Um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be going soon anyway, so yeah. yeah I didn't yeah. get intentions with your video. Oh, <laughs> right. intentions with being at this location at this time. As I say, I'm just making a, making a video uh, for matters of public interest. I might po post it online, I might not. Depends, you know, how it, how it looks, you know, that's the thing, so. However, as you can appreciate, when you've got a chemical site like this, mm -hmm. obviously, and recognised personnel, such as yourself. Yeah, yeah. It could, with the current climate, it can spark a bit of question of... I mean, I'm, I'm not breaking any laws, as, as, I, at the as moment, I know, so... We're on a public road, mm -hmm. so I'm not going to say you're breaking any laws, but when it comes to the risk assessment of an unknown person on a site, such as... I this, mean, reasonably, I did ask, I did ask the security gentleman. Yeah. I mean, whilst professionally, he did present his SIA badge, which he's required to do. Um, but I asked him, where's the sign that tells me I'm not supposed to be where I am? And, and he refused to point out the sign to me. So I can't, because he's a security officer, mm -hmm. with two different people. Yeah, yeah, of course. As you can imagine, he's probably seen a camera, he's seen yourself, and he's thought, well, what's going on here? Mm. Potentially, he may have refused to engage with you for that reason. But regardless, mm. there is risk assessment. Well, I, I don't see what, what difference the camera makes, really, because it's, it's a lawful activity, so it's... Look, that's a total different concept. So I, I don't you understand, really, with that. Yeah, yeah, you're, obviously, yeah, yeah. Regardless, you being here, obviously sparked something somewhere in someone's risk assessment mm -hmm. okay that's why i just don't see why it's been called out as an emergency though that's a, that's that's my that's, confusion that's a, to be a, honest that's a framework within itself of why things get read as emergencies and why they don't but as i say we're response officers mm -hmm. we've been dispatched at least from from main is it 
not directly from Main Deep, that's where we're stationed. Right, okay. Right? But I don't, kindly request if you could just move on a little bit. I mean, I'm in a public area. I could, if I wanted to stay here, I could really. You could. I'm not, I'm not being detained, am I? I'm not being detained. I'm not detained, I'm not detained okay. I'm trying to have a conversation with you. Yeah, yeah, okay. You kindly have a conversation with me. Um, but obviously, the way things are at the moment, mm. and obviously that being a chemical plant, yeah. ideally it'd be good if you could just meet us halfway in terms of, you've recorded, that's fair enough. If you just make, your, make off. I just, yeah, but you need to understand. I don't need to. I mean, I will be, I will be going, but that's, that'll be on, you know, on my terms, not on any other. What anyone asked oh, me to course. do, really. So. That's, I, I totally see where you're coming from. Yeah. However, it's not one there at the moment. But if we were to leave, it leaves a question of what's going to happen. I mean, if they come over, if they're approaching me, I'm gonna, I'm staying, I'm gonna, I'll stand here. If they're approaching me, I'll, I, you know, I'm just conducting a lawful activity. Know, Whatever right. happens with them, if happens with them. If you were to leave this location now, the likelihood of potentially something happening the minute we leave. I mean, the, the thing is that the, the actual staff who work on the site have been, they've, they've, they, you know, they've been happy with what I'm doing. They yeah. haven't seemed to be too bothered, to be honest. So they've, they've just been a little, yeah, they've been a bit curious, but they've been, they've been happy with what I've been doing. So um, it's just the security got a bit. Got a bit ratty when they see someone come approaching with a camera. That's all. So, like this, you can imagine with a, with a chemical plant like this. Yeah. Someone with a camera. I'm not being a camera is a threat. No, it's uh, but no. What I'm saying is someone who's not recognised by security or potentially some staff. So you're saying if I didn't have the camera and I walked up there, would the same issue? I walked up, no, up by there, the same issue would happen. Quite rightly, they've got a security gate. You would be stopped and questioned. Yeah. Okay. Okay. But regardless. Just move on, just okay, because I haven't passed any gates or anything. Anyway, there's public, no. there's public access. I'll, that's what I'm talking about. Yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Level rather than jumping on you. No, no, I, I understand you. You're being civil, officer. Yeah, yeah. You're being civil, constable. Constable. Yeah, yeah. But potentially, if we leave, 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 Okay, yeah, well, I'll, I'll, go, I'll go in a minute, you know. Okay, if you just do it in our presence, okay, just so we can be fully satisfied. I, I, don't, I don't see why I'm required to, though, in your presence. I'm, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not going to cause any breach of the peace. I mean, whether they do, that's, that's, that's up to them, but I'm, I'm just going to stand here film, that's all. Okay. So. All right, that's fine. Um, what is your name? I, I don't need to provide any details. I'm not required to provide any details. Am I required to provide any details for anything? Is there any legislation? Yeah, you, you can ask. You can ask, but but there's nothing that requires me to provide my details. So, okay. Okay, we'll have a chat with them. All right. We'll have a chat with our colleagues. Okay. We'd like to say, end of the day, we're impartial. Yeah, yeah, of course, yeah. When you've, been, you've, been profession, you've been quite professional with me, so I've got no issues. Okay. Okay. Um, okay. Just appreciate that, constable. Thank you. Just hmm. so, uh, yeah. Got a few constables from mainly mainly police station. Um, come, turned up, graded this as an emergency, which makes no sense whatsoever. There's no crimes being committed or anything, so. So not at this moment in time you're being detained. That's that, 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 that's quite a common thing, really, when they say that. So I'm not sure what their what security's problem is. I'm not going to approach them. I'm going to stand where I am. So as I've I've read the sign now, I need PPE to be there. So I mean, if they just inform me of any signs, that's why I've come over here because I've read that sign, which says you need PPE to be on site. And I've come and walked down, walked down this way. So. And then they are with the blues and twos going. Just gonna get a quick shot of the, the van with blues and twos. There we go. So it's been eight minutes of conversation with, with the police. Just going to see and wait what they say. 
we don't really need to go anywhere. Um, so yeah. Right. And they are turning up on blues and twos. Again, Gwen, please. Seems to be a recurring thing now. Oh, another, another marked car coming down. What's going on? That's three marked cars now. Another officer. That's three now. <laughs> All for a camera. <laughs> That's three van, three, three police, three poli marked police vehicles. All right. What's going on now? Look at them all. Look at them all. So if anyone thinks this was a major, major incident, you know, it's just a guy with a camera. This is ridiculous. Hello. <laughs> You're right. What well, if they got three marked vehicles out? There's one, two, three, four, it's four. Four officers, because one of them approached in the one, so you got four officers. Right, see what's going on. All right, how are you doing? Got my friend? What's up? I have had a chat with that site manager. Okay. okay. The minute you cross at this junction, okay. it is quite a property. If you are on the public space, such as the road or the people on the other okay. side. Okay. And I did read that sign over there which says you need PPE to walk across okay. there. I didn't see that before. Okay. That's why I asked the gentleman about it. Jim, you could just identify yourself, please. Yeah, 2318. Thank you very much. You're based out of Mainzy as well. Yeah, thank you very much. Okay. So Sorry about that. If yeah. you are on a public place, such as that road or the pavement, they are not going to disturb you. However, mm -hmm. the minute you cross this junction, Okay. With long turning, as you can see. Yeah, yeah. Probably your camera can see as well. Mm -hmm. um, that's when it becomes a bit of a risk. Right? Okay, so it could be. Well, would that be aggravated trespass if I was if I was to if I was sorry, if I was to return down? Then that would be aggravated trespass. Would that be? Also talking, I don't know the answer to that. Okay. Uh, so. And I'm not going to stop you recording. If you do want to go onto the pavement or the road, by all means feel free, but just don't cross this junction because it is private land. Okay, yeah. yeah. So, um, I don't know the name of the company, but they're definitely a policeman. It so. belongs to them privately, so. Okay, yeah, yeah. Goes all, right. all right, no worries. Yeah, 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 okay, yeah. I mean, if it's private property, I'm not going to return on there because oh. if my if my if my rights of access have been removed, I wouldn't remo I wouldn't return onto there. So. No, no, I'm just uh, I just think it's a shame your your time's sort of been wasted. Really, that's all. You can, I'm sure you've got better things to be doing. So. We're here to keep you safe, safe, all right. So I mean. We aren't got any concerns at the moment. Based on the fact that they. On you've, been, the you've been called out on blue lights, so that's the thing as well. So it's just. Hey mate, listen, I don't grade the calls. <laughs> All right, no worries. You too. Have a lovely, have a lovely day. Yeah. Take care, guys. So yeah, we're gonna leave Eastman now. Look at them all. Look at them all, though. All for, all that for a camera. So, as you can see, blues and twos, blues and twos, blues and twos over a camera. Just get a quick shot from this side of the vans. Uh, the van and the marked cars. And we'll make our way off. So what, what a waste of police time again. Um, it's just a shame, you know. Wasting police time, they should be spoken to about that. Don't tell me there's another one coming. Don't tell me. If there is, I'm just gonna be like, what? That's when you need a bit. Yeah, this is Eastman. Eastman's premises over there. It's public, public right away. Uh, obviously, so they've, yeah, that sign has basically, since I'm not wearing PPE, that sign's basically removed my uh, my implied right of access. Um, so I'm just gonna, yeah, basically gonna end this one off now, guys. Uh, 
So thanks for watching and we'll see you all in the next one.